Hey, my name's Tom and welcome back to Low Carbon Lifestyle. One of the reasons why I love being an Octopus Energy customer is because they seem to be innovating for purpose rather than just for profit. Things they've done like Octopus Go, trying to move EV charging away from the daily peak electrical demand, and then maybe Octopus Agile trying to do the same with the wider domestic customer baseload, you know? And then Intelligent Octopus leaving, uh, leaving them to control when would be best to charge. They're even now trying to bring down the cost of heat pump installations. They're trying to give local people the benefit when they build a wind turbine nearby and they're doing a bunch more. Lots and lots of schemes that could help reduce emissions, reduce costs, and probably in the long run, increase their profits. The latest scheme is called saving sessions. And this is actually part of a national grid trial to get households to use less energy during the peak time. We joined the first saving session alongside over 200,000 people. So how much did we get paid and what was the impact overall? My name is Tom and this is a little series about a low carbon lifestyle. 200,000 people or households changing their electricity demand at the same time is pretty significant. You might have heard about the national grid planning for half time in the FA Cup final or the tea break in Coronation Street when people get up to make a cup of tea. When we do things together at the same time, we really do shape how our, our, how our electricity system works. And the savings session story is that for every kilowatt hour that we reduce our demand by, Octopus and National Grid will give us £2.25 for the hustle. A kilowatt hour for most households is actually quite a lot of energy. The average house uses around eight kilowatt hours per day. So maybe one whole kilowatt hour is quite a lot. But even reducing demand by a little bit, when we times it up by 200,000, could have a really significant impact. And for homes like ours that are heated by heat pumps, we could really change our demand by controlling our heating. And we probably wouldn't notice switching the heating off or turning it down a little bit for an hour. So how much impact could 200,000 people have? Well, Octopus have crunched the numbers and they think over that hour last week we reduced demand by 108 megawatts. And they say that's effectively shutting down one gas power station for an hour. That's pretty cool. And they said that the impact of this is saving 20 tonnes of CO2 emissions. Again, pretty cool. I would question some of those numbers though. It's likely that many of us just shifted when we use electricity rather than didn't use it at all. So we put the oven on maybe half an hour later, or we needed a bit more energy to reheat the house as it had been cooled down a little bit by turning the heat pump off. But in working to reduce how much energy we needed, we may also have used a little bit less. But I don't think we completely turned off 108 megawatts for good. But shifting demand away from the peak has some value too. And it would mean that the whole electricity system would have a bit less cost and have a bit less emissions. But if we only shifted demand from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m., the impact might be minerable. Minerable? Minimal. But I do think this kind of scheme could have a really positive impact, particularly as more people get involved and more demand is shifted. And if you don't need to do something at that peak electrical demand and you could wait for a lower demand, then great. So what were our results? How well did we do? Well, we didn't quite make that one kilowatt hour of saving, but we managed 0.975 kilowatt hours and Octopus are gonna credit us with two pounds 20, which is great. It didn't really put us out and we're actually getting about six and a half kilowatt hours worth of electricity at the price gap rates for free. Win. And we contributed to a bit of an experiment. In solidarity with others, it's amazing what we can achieve when we get together. There is power, electrical power in the union. Maybe we need to organize more to work towards tackling the climate crisis. My second video in the low carbon lifestyle series all the way back in April, 2020, was called a low carbon magic trick. And it was suggesting that we could do something similar making a similar point to the saving sessions trial, moving that demand away from the peak and putting it maybe overnight for our washing or our dishwasher, all that kind of thing. 
I wonder if it had as much impact as 200,000 people on the 200-ish viewers that, lock, that watched it during that first lockdown. Why don't you have a look at it now? And please do like this video and subscribe if you haven't already.